And I don't know. I don't know about the drinking thing. I think I'm done for a while. Like I said, I want to go sting in my 50s. I'm turning 50 in June. And um, I want to make sure, uh, I don't know. That's a critical fucking decade, right? That's that one. I mean, you know, people like fucking die in their 50s. So I got to... <laughs> You just, that's when people just start dying. I mean, people who I've got, I've already lost, like I've lost count how many fucking friends. I actually I have a list on my phone so I don't forget all the comics that I've known that have died. Um, by the way, all men, all men, out of the 25, they're all men. So all these women out there like, you don't understand how difficult it is to be a woman. It's like, lady, I got 25 dead friends. They're all guys. Okay. I don't know what the fuck is going on with us, but whatever you guys are, there's something that you guys, something in your life is easier. I know in this age of feminism where it just has to be, everything is so fucking much harder for a woman. There is one easy thing, one easier thing for a woman, and it really is the most important thing, and that is staying alive. (laughs) So anyway, so I was working at the... uh, West Side Comedy Club. You got to go there. Some old friends of mine opened the place up. That's why I did it. I had the best time. And what was really cool is it was mostly, you know, podcast listeners. So I could say whatever the fuck I thought, essentially, in these times. You know what I mean? Everything that's going on. You know, I heard like those fucking people were going down to the comedy cellar and then writing down what other comics were saying about Louis C.K. and all of that type of stuff. Was just It's just so fucking... It's such a crazy time right now. Um, And, uh, you know, I don't know. I love Louis C.K. And that was really obviously just a fucking hard thing to see happen to somebody. And he was definitely 100 percent wrong. I'll just say this. He was 100 percent wrong. He did own up to it. And I think he will definitely be back. Um, I will say that. And I also knew a couple of the women that he did this shit to. And I, I just feel bad for everybody. It's just fucking terrible. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else you, you say about it. I feel like I'm in a divorce where you know both the mom and the dad. You need just you got to like pick a fucking side here. Uh, you know, I don't know. All, all I think that just this new thing, though, is like. Like, the level of witch hunt that happened when the Louis thing came out, like, the amount of fucking people that they went after was just fucking... It was, like, six degrees of Louis' dick, you know, to the point that even the the fucking Huffington Post was even trying to, like, you know, list people, the clients of the same manager that he had and stuff, who, by the way, is one of the great people I've ever met in life. I stand by my fucking manager, and I'm never firing the guy. I've been with this guy since 2006. Dave Becky's one of the great people that I've met in this business. I love that guy. I'd still have him over at my house for fucking dinner. Watching everybody just, oh, I think I remember this happening 15 fucking years ago, and then watching everybody try to burn down this guy's life. It's, it's just fucking ridiculous. People, this is America. You remember due process? Like, the whole thing is just like, it's fucking insane. I wouldn't be surprised if they're going after Louis C.K.'s mailman saying, if you deliver his mail, you're part of the problem. Um, You know, and it doesn't seem to be like there's any sort of like, you know, in the judicial system where there's like, if you steal a bike, you get this sentence. If you rob a bank, you get this. If you kill somebody, if you kill a whole bunch of people, all the way up to the death penalty. Yeah, this kind of seems like it's become... um, it doesn't make a difference if it's sexual misconduct all the way to sexual assault slash rape. You know, you're getting the exact same, uh, like, level of punishment. Um, so that's only my question, okay, out of all of this, because he was definitely wrong, obviously. I mean, it's all obvious shit that I'm saying, but... Uh, does the punishment match the crime? Because, you know, sexual misconduct, when I mean, you talk of sexual misconduct, like I, I don't I would I don't know how many podcasts I would have to do to tell you all the stories of sexual misconduct with just women as a stand up comedian who used to go out after his shows selling his posters and all and taking pictures with you. Just the fucking women. Okay? 
And I'll tell you, it was never any of the young ones. It was always these middle-aged fucking women, couple glasses of red wine. Oh, God. And they come at you with their va-va-va-voom energy, and you'd be like, oh, no, here we go. You know, that's my advice. Young male comics out there, young female comics, there's plenty of information out there for you now about watching out for creepy guys. But I don't think there's anything out there for young male comics. I will tell you this, okay? If you're going to go out and meet a crowd afterwards, when middle-aged women, you can tell they've had too much wine beyond the fact that they're sort of teetering on their high heel shoes with their old feet sticking out of them. You just look for the gray teeth, all right? And a little bit too much makeup. And then, they, you know, they got the girls out a little bit. Just fucking watch yourself, okay? Because that's, uh, that's the old cheerleader who is not aging well and is freaking out that guys don't, you know, find her attractive anymore. And I'm telling you, they're going to come up to you, they, you know, cover your junk. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Dude, I had a woman lick my neck one time. And I'll tell you, worse than the touch of her tongue, her old ass disgusting wine breath tongue on my fucking neck worse than that was i felt her breath right before the eagle landed i will uh oh gee oh and forget about gay guys jesus christ i gotta do another half podcast on that one we're just talking about sexual misconduct um i always wanted to rub your chest the fuck did you just do <laughs> I remember one time And this is the thing about a guy When it happens to a guy It's just funny Just for the simple f- fact That you know Generally speaking You can overpower Whoever the fuck is coming at you I'm not a, I'm not a little boy So I get why nobody gives a shit When this happens to a guy I get it um, I remember I was dating this Absolutely lovely woman Beautiful woman She danced on Broadway. She was such a sweetheart. I loved her to death, and I completely fucked it up because I was an angry young man. So I'm sorry to her, right? So she was dancing in this thing um, called Broadway Bears, which was like they used to do this thing to raise money. It was like a burlesque show. So it wasn't like this creepy titty bar thing. It was just, uh, you know, if you ever go to a burlesque show, which my wife took me to one to see that Dita Von Teese, I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? She's going to take me down here to go to go see, basically go to a rated PG-13 strip club? I have the coolest wife ever. And then I got down there, and I think I was the only straight guy there, and it was, like, mostly gay guys, right? And uh, that's what this Broadway Bears thing was. And it wasn't, like, the creepy Hooters vibe. So it's actually better if there's a bunch of gay dudes there because I always did that whole, I, like, hooters, strip clubs, titty bars, and all that shit. It's just like, that's something that's, like, fascinating when you're, like, in your 20s, I think. And then somewhere, you know, if you're progressing, if you're maturing, at some point it just becomes gross. Or at the very least, like, this is fucking stupid, you know? I want to go out and get laid. I'm going to sit here looking at naked women who aren't going to fuck me. You know, this is stupid. While losing... A ton of money paying for watered down drinks. What? No, I don't want to eat in here. You're in the sex industry. Get away from me. I want to order some food, right? So I go down to this Broadway Bears thing, right? And, uh, you know, there's all these it's fucking layers. There's all these smoking hot women doing their dances and stuff. And then there's all these shredded dudes. So all the gay guys are going nuts about the dudes. And I'm looking at all these women going like, oh, my God, right? Fucking dancer legs. They were incredible, right? Oh, by the way, they also were really talented. (laughs) Right? So the fucking show ends. And I'm waiting for my girlfriend at the time to come out. And this fucking, out of nowhere, this guy came up and just smacked me on the ass. And it wasn't like, like, it was like if you were playing football, it was good game. But at that place, it wasn't. This guy wanted to fucking hook up with me. Dude, he hit me so hard, like I almost fucking got whiplash. And I fucking turned around, and I can't say what I said to the guy. Um, But I made it clear to him that I wasn't gay. And I'll never forget, he just, like, put his hands up and was, like, backing away. And I remember when he put his hands up, the dude had these fucking guns. And I was just like, you know, 
I don't know what this guy's thinking right now, but if he wanted to do something, I don't know if there's anything I could do about it. <laughs> I'll never forget his, his big, hairy, gay arms just coming out. Oh, I'm sorry. I just fucking... <laughs> No, he didn't even talk like that. I'm doing like the hacky gay voice. He had just like a regular dude voice. And, um, oh, dude, I got a zillion of those. Fucking zillion of those fucking stories. If we're talking sexual misconduct here. And, um, and you know what's funny? Is the reason I stopped going out after my shows wasn't all of those fucking witches of Eastwick drunk bitches coming up to me doing God knows what, right? Just crossing all kinds of fucking lines. Like you're literally like you're a cartoon character. What made it, me finally stop was that time the guy went to take the camera out to take the picture of his girlfriend or wife and a loaded nine millimeter fell on the fucking ground. And it was right on the ground and I, I should have kicked it away. You know, all the episodes of Stasky and Hutch I watched. I didn't. I just froze. I pointed at the gun and I went, dude, what the fuck? And I let him bend down and pick it up. And I just stood there. I've never felt more white in my life. You know what I mean? Just classic cul-de-sac like, uh, hey, Frank, I believe you dropped your pistol. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Blows my fucking brains out. Oh, you hear that? That's my alarm. I got up a little early. So anyways, people, uh, I think it's a great thing that all of this stuff is coming out because... There's no way that women should have to be tolerating this. They've tolerated it way too long. But can we stop short here of, like, um, then trying to literally destroy everybody around the fucking person um, over social media and no burden of proof whatsoever? These are, like, real people that you're going after, okay? You know? These people that are around these people that have done horrible things, they have wives, they have kids, they have families, they have mortgages, you know, and just to just fucking just willy nilly. Oh, somebody just said this on Twitter. It has to be true and just pile on and blow on the ashes and try to turn it into fuck, a fucking inferno. Um, is 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 also not right. OK. And uh, I feel really bad for my manager and what the hell he's going through right now. I really do. Um, and I'm not going to be one of these fucking people. And I hate how this this whole fucking day and it don't say anything, man. It's not worth it. Don't say anything. So I'm just going to leave this guy who's been a friend to me for fucking 11 years. Guided me through my career. My career went through the fucking stratosphere with this guy. I'm just going to leave him twisting in the wind. Go fuck yourself. Dave Becky's a great guy.